Hello, today I am going to give you a brief overview about financial instruments. It's related with int AS32, 109 and 107. It will be the application of these three int AS. Okay. Out of these three accounting standard, in days 107 is all about disclosure of financial instruments, but the recognition and measurement principle are governed under int AS32 and int AS109. Okay, first of all, we need to look at the meaning of financial instrument. What do you mean by financial instrument? Look at the definition. Financial instrument is any contract that gives rise to financial asset of one entity and financial liability or equity instrument of another entity. So from this definition, first of all, we understood that financial instrument is a contract. It is a contract, right? It could be any contract. But there is a condition. That is, it should give rise to financial asset of one entity and financial liability or equity instrument of another entity. Okay, I will tell you an example for clarifying this concept. Suppose I am ABC limited. You are here XYZ limited. Okay, here I am going to issue debentures and you are purchasing those debentures. Okay, so this is a contract, right? In this contract, where I am issuing debentures and you are buying party. Okay, here I am raising the fund, I am borrowing fund. And you are typically an investor. You are lending money. You are an investor. Okay. For me, this is a liability. Liability represented in the form of debentures. And for you, it is basically an investment which is definitely an asset. It is an asset for you. Okay. So, there are typically financial asset and financial liability. Okay. Here I am undertaking a liability that is I have contractual obligation to deliver cash to you and you have contractual right to receive cash from me that is for you it would be a financial asset and for me it would be a financial liability and here debenture is a financial instrument. When I am issuing debentures to you for me, a financial liability arises because I have issued these debentures. For you, financial asset is arising. Clear? Okay, once again, please look at that definition. What we said, financial instrument is any contract that gives rise to financial asset of one entity and financial liability of another entity. In that definition, up to this part, you might be clear. Okay? And there is one more sentence. And... Financial liability or equity instrument of another entity. For this equity instrument of another entity, I will give you an example, okay? Okay, now I am taking an example of equity instrument. The same example I am taking, as I said earlier, ABC is issuing entity and XYZ is investor, okay? This time, I am issuing equity shares of my company. I am issuing equity shares, not the bunches, okay? In the previous case, I issued debenture. Okay, here I am issuing equity shares. So, what's happening here? For investor, it is still a financial asset because equity share. And for ABC Limited, its own equity instruments. It's not its financial liability. Okay, it's simply equity share capital of ABC. It's not a liability. It's called equity of ABC. Okay. Okay then, uh, please look at that definition once again. You can understand, it can be two types of combination, right? That is either financial asset of one entity and financial liability of another or it could be financial asset of one entity and equity instruments of other. Okay, hope I made it clear for you. Okay, that's all for today. In this video, I explained only the meaning of financial instruments. And the financial instrument is classified into three categories that is financial asset, financial liabilities and equity instruments. And accounting standards I mentioned earlier that is in AS32, in AS109 and in AS107 they are going to deal with these three important classifications.
okay simultaneously you will get familiar with the meaning of financial asset also and there is one more concept puttable instrument and finally financial instruments classification that is uh, specifically int as 109 all of this i will explain in the coming video okay thank you for watching and see you in the next video